Nars Morgan again, Key Fitness. How y'all guys doing? Um, hope you, hope this video find you well. Uh, I didn't post anything last week because of Hurricane Matthew. You know, I know we was all going through something. If lost power, uh, some of us got flooded out. Uh, I fortunately um, wasn't affected at all. Didn't lose any power. You know, thank God we didn't get flooded either. Um, and I pray for y'all guys that did get flooded out and lost anything. Um, I pray that God restore. If you lost anything, I pray he restore everything you lost tenfold. Eight, that God 10x your life. Um, anyway, the topic for today is how to meal prep for the week. A member came to me and asked me that last week. She said, hey, what you going to talk about um, this Sunday? And... I really had so much going on last week, I really didn't even think about it. And she says, hey, why don't, why don't you discuss uh, meal prepping for the week? And I was like, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. So it's, that's, that's what we're gonna talk about this week. Um, for number one, what I wanna start off with is I hope y'all guys are doing pretty good in your 100 day challenge the last quarter of the year. Um, I pray you're sticking with it. I know it gets hard, especially as we approach Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's really gonna get hard. I myself is doing this as well. When I weighed myself Friday, 7.15 Friday morning, I was exactly 220 pounds, 220.8. And uh, I lost three pounds. This is the last time I, I talked to y'all guys, which has been two weeks now. Um, so it's going pretty well. And I'm trying to lose it slow. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. You know, I'm just, I'm having fun with it. It's, it's, it's not nothing I'm trying to, you know, uh, go really, really crazy about. I'm just enjoying the process and enjoying the journey. And that's what it's all about. It's about enjoying the journey. It's not about getting from point A to point B. It's about the journey, you know. And you got to enjoy enjoy life. You got to enjoy what you do. And, you know, you, you, that, that's what helps you stick with it. Anyway, these four tips on how to meal prep for the week and this is from me personally from guys that I know that were successful in meal prepping and clients as well because for number one there's no and I heard and I know I'm beating a dead horse I'm, I'm been preaching to the choir because I've been talking about this over and over again there's no specific plan for a person I mean it's it's whatever works for you yeah within 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 guidelines you want to keep it healthy you want to keep it, you know, you know, without a lot of sugar and, and, and carbs and, and things like that. But there's no perfect diet. You got to find what works for you. Now, with that being said, what you want to do, you want to spend time each week looking for, looking for healthy recipes. And this is what I do. And, and, and most of y'all know they do receive my newsletter that I, I post a lot of recipes, or at least one recipe per week, sometimes two. You know, just to throw something out there, if I find something that seems pretty, pretty good that people might like, that it, it, sometimes I might not like it. I might not like, you know, certain dishes, but I know people that do, and I still post it because it's not about me. It's about y'all guys. So spend time looking for recipes. When you find something that's, that's pretty much healthy or somewhat healthy that you know you like, Get, write it down, print it out, and, and that's what you're going to prepare for the week. Sometimes two recipes because you might get tired of eating the same thing every single day. I, I can do it, but some people can't. Um, and then number two, only pick recipes that you like. This, this is, this is a, a mistake I know many people do, and I used to do this myself. Not everybody gonna, is going to be able to eat uh, chicken breasts, sweet potatoes, and broccoli every single day that's it's bland and it's not realistic but I mean some people do like my brother oh he can eat that because he ate bland food his whole life that's that was his part part of his character <laughs> he didn't like a, a lot of salty and, and fatty foods just I mean naturally he just didn't like it so pick something that you know you're gonna like and you know that you can eat long term and you know that you're not struggling every single day trying to choke it down because if you pick something like that, then you're not going to stick with it. It's just, you know, you're going to fall off the bandwagon because remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. 
you know, it's it's just long term. So this is the way you got to think about it. It's it's all about the journey. Number three, um, plan to eat leftovers because what you're going to do, you're going to cook all your meals on a Sunday night. Say you work Monday through Friday. Okay, you're off Saturday and Sunday. You plan all your meals um, or you cook all your meals Sunday or Sunday night. And the easiest thing to do is make sure you invest in a lot of Tupperware bowls like maybe 10 to 15, 10 to 20. And you put it in the freezer or you can put it in the freezer most people like to put it in the freezer because they don't trust food sitting in the refrigerator like over three days and I don't blame them depending on what you you know what the ingredients are in it so you can put it in the freezer and then when you when you get up in the morning you take your two bowls or whatever uh, or whatever you cook throw it in your bag and head off to work and you got your meals prepared you don't have to worry about cooking any more meals for the week I mean this is this is the way you you prep for it your your week and number three is um, you gotta we, we, we live by moods so when the weather changes you know some people like soups like me me myself I cook in a crock pot now um, I'm gonna cook uh, turkey chili today and, and a client of mine Joe he actually uh, gave me that recipe and and I love it it, it can be high calories uh, probably one a cup and one fourth is 301 calories, but it's 33 grams of protein, and and it's healthy because it's for one it's, it's I get 99% fat-free turkey, black beans and red beans, and that's pretty much everything in it. it's carrot, celery, and I throw it in the crock pot, boom, put the top on it when I, and let it cook overnight. When I get up in the morning, I put it dish in my bowl, and I keep it moving, and that's 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 pretty much it so as it get cold I like crock pot I like soups I like things like that so you got to prepare your meals based on sometimes the season because that because we do go by moods of change of season um, so that's a pretty good tip there and eating habits are important too um, not everybody can eat leftovers like I know Mariam at, at the gym you know my trainer at the gym she can't eat leftovers <laughs> she 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 eats a salad every single day and she eats the same thing every day so being as she can do that every single day she has her salad made up of mostly spinach baby spinach and some other stuff she's throwing in certain peanuts and and oh man i don't know y'all go to the gym y'all gonna ask her what, what she puts in a salad but she eats it every single day so that's her meal prep she don't have to meal prep she can just put that together and bring it it works for her because she can't eat leftovers but you know most of us can you know and uh, not to keep this video too long that's the best way to meal prep for number one um, go shopping get what you like uh, always look for recipes and document your recipes save them cook cook all your meals on Sunday night before you start Monday morning put them on the Tupperware bowl freeze them and then when you every single morning you get up boom you take take it out the freezer or you take it out the refrigerator put it in your bag you hit the door you don't have to worry about because proper preparation be it is better than poor performance you know that prevents poor performance say that again proper preparation prevents poor performance so when you prepared you can perform better you have to worry about what I'm going to eat when you get home because a lot of times we work from 9 to 5 9 to 7 you get home or you're running the kids around, Some a lot of you soccer moms, baseball moms, football moms, when you get home at 6, 7 o'clock, you are not going to be ready to prepare a meal. So guess what? You probably end up going through the drive through before you get home, and we don't want that. So always have your meals prepared. And one last thing, you know, um, we got the Bombshell Boot Camp coming up next weekend, October 22nd. It's our, our Ladies Appreciation Day and it's open to the public so invite all your friends and it's free to the public all your friends they can come check out the gym we got vendors there if any of y'all vendors out there that like to attend um just mess message me through facebook or give us a call at the gym and you can fill out a vendors form and you know you can join us and it's going to be fun uh what i'll do i'll post some pictures from last year to give you all an idea if you didn't go attend last year what what to expect and we're going to be running classes all day. So in the classes from 9 to 3, I also have on Facebook, I posted a schedule. 
um, on what classes is at what time. Anyway, keep suggestions coming and keep the comments coming. Just dialogue, just help one another out because this is a team effort, you know, and we're going to reach our fitness goals. Anyway, I see y'all guys at the gym, and not only, only that, I'll probably post some, some Facebook Live um, events going on through the week as we get closer to our main event, which is uh, next Saturday. Anyway, I see y'all guys at the gym. Catch you later. Bye.